Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mary Afia once again. Today in this video, I am going to teach you a very very important named reaction from the chapter Nitrogen Compounds and the name of the reaction is Manich Reaction. Some people call it as Manich Reaction but mostly it's called or it's named as Manich Reaction. So students, what is this Manich Reaction? Manich Reaction is the reaction in which nitroalkanes react with formaldehyde and dimethyl amine and form, look here I have written the sentence, nitroalkanes react with formaldehyde and dimethyl amine. Dimethyl amine is a secondary amine and uh, produce N, N or NN dialkyl aminomethyl nitro compound. So which I have written in red. This is the product that is being formed in manic reaction. Generally the statement goes like this. Primary and secondary nitroalkanes having active alpha hydrogen atom, they condense with formaldehyde or ammonia or primary or a secondary amine. Okay students, this is the statement of manage reaction. Now, let us learn the mechanism of this reaction. So, I am going to show you the reaction between formaldehyde, dimethyl amine and a nitro alkane. Okay students, so I am going to start with the formaldehyde. You know what formaldehyde is? Formaldehyde formula is HCHO. So it can be written as, can you see H C double bond O H. This is called as formaldehyde. I am writing the name here. Formaldehyde plus the compound with which formaldehyde reacting here I am showing you dimethyl amine. Students dimethyl amine is a secondary amine. So N H CH3 CH3. Okay. So this is dimethyl. Two methyl group students. Dimethyl amine. So nitrogen has one side hydrogen and two alkyl groups. Hence it is a secondary amine. I am writing the name here. Dimethyl amine. So in the brackets, you can mention it as a secondary amine. So, this reaction takes place in the presence of an acid, for example, HC. So, what's happening here? When So, I told you students in the statement, nitroalkanes react with formaldehyde, dimethyl amine. But here I started the reaction with formaldehyde and dimethyl amine. So, later in the later steps, we can see nitroalkane participating in the reaction. So, what's happening here? So, if you see HC double bond OH formaldehyde, this is the carbonyl group student C double bond O. So, the pi electrons present here will be shifted or attracted by the oxygen atom. Shifted towards oxygen or attracted by the oxygen at so what do we what is uh, uh, formed over here oxygen gets negative charge and carbon gets positive charge okay so now what's happening here after this pi electrons are shifted towards oxygen so how this dimethyl amine is reacting with the formaldehyde look here i am writing 
H C here H next O H next N C H three C H three okay can you guess what happened here students O has become O minus so what happened to this carbon this carbon acquired a positive charge right so now this O minus takes up this H as H plus so O minus and H plus becomes O H so whatever I have written here look students this carbon this carbon two hydrogens two hydrogens this O minus by attracting H plus from dimethylamine has become O H next N C H three C H three clear next So what's happening next? So addition of uh, H plus. Now where will this H plus go? This H plus is taken up by this oxygen. How is it taking students? You know oxygen has two lone pair of electrons. Okay, so with one of its lone pairs, it takes up this H plus, and so now there a bond is formed between this hydrogen and this oxygen. That means oxygen is sharing its lone pair of electrons with this positively charged hydrogen atom. Okay, students. So I am writing uh, the next uh, compound here. H, carefully look at this one, H, C, H, here comes now, already one hydrogen is there, one more hydrogen is being added, next nitrogen, CH3, CH3. So oxygen valency is 2, right? But how many are here? 3. So oxygen is not having its uh, two lone pairs of electrons. Only one is there. One is shared with the hydrogen. So here comes uh, a positive charge on oxygen. Okay students, here is a positive. Now this oxygen, uh, positive charge on oxygen is satisfied. How is it satisfied? It takes up this electron, oxygen, it means oxygen takes up these two electrons and comes out as, what is formed students? O with the two hydrogens and the two electrons, already it has one more lone, one lone pair here. Now it is taking up two electrons. So it comes out as a water molecule. So next step you will write minus H2O. So look here, I have written minus H2O, okay. So after water molecule is removed, how to write? H, C, H, N, CH3, CH3. So now what should we write on this carbon atom? The two electrons between carbon and oxygen are taken up by oxygen. So now carbon has no electron here. Okay. So therefore carbon acquires a positive charge. So look here I am writing plus on carbon. Fine students. Next. So here comes put an arrow. So in the beginning we have seen nitro alkanes react with the formaldehyde and dimethylamine to give the product. Okay. So, so in this reaction we started with formaldehyde and dimethylamine. Till now we have not uh, uh, used nitro alkane. And the nitro alkane should have an active alpha hydrogen atom. So here I am writing we are using the nitro alkane having 
active alpha hydrogen atom. Okay. Look here carefully students. C, CH3, CH3, NO2. Okay. So, one more hydrogen will be there. So, that is active alpha hydrogen. So, when taking the compound, I have, I am writing here C minus. That means the hydrogen on this carbon is removed as H plus and the two electrons between carbon and hydrogen are taken up by carbon and here I, we are, this carbon is uh, uh, having negative charge. So, this is the nitroalkane having an active alpha hydrogen atom being introduced here in the mechanism. Okay. So, now students look here this carbon got positive charge and now the nitroalkane which is introduced here this is a secondary nitro compound and this minus is uh, uh, going to attract this positively charged carbon. So, I am drawing an arrow from here look here students start from here so this minus is going to okay so we should not uh, the head of the arrow should not be from here to here okay so minus is now attracting plus so this has excess electrons carbon so these excess electrons of this carbon will be shared with this uh, positively charged carbon. Positive means it is a deficit of uh, electrons. Okay. So, that is the reason I have uh, uh, drawn the arrow like the students. Okay. So, many people think that organic is very difficult. But uh, try to love organic. Try to understand organic. Then, so you will be masters in organic chemistry. Okay. Now, after this minus is uh, attracting this plus. So, what happens? Uh, here what comes we will write N can you see students yes N CH3 CH3 next C H here H now here comes carbon CH3 CH3 N O2 this is N N dialkyl amino methyl nitro compound so, what I have shown you in the statement, the compound, look here students, N, 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 dialkyl, amino methyl, nitro compound is, uh, you can see here. So, I started from this side, N, CH3, CH3, N, CH3, CH3, next bond, bond, carbon, two hydrogens, two hydrogens. So, t here uh, near positive charge, this minus is coming. So, these, this carbon will be attacked here, C, with the two methyl groups and N O2. Okay, students. So, this is N N dialkyl methyl nitro compound. So, this is uh, the mechanism of managed reaction. Hope you understood this uh, uh, reaction, students. So, always what I suggest uh, as a chemistry lecturer uh, is uh, practice twice or thrice, then it will be perfect with the reaction. Okay, students. So, whoever is watching for the first time the channel, please like, share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe the channel. So, meet you uh, in the next video. So, until then, take care. Bye-bye, students.